Hi, thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com. Today is the 1st of February in the year of 2022. And with it being the first day of February in the year of 2022, the month of February is also known as Black History Month or African American History Month in regards of the United States of America, but also certain individuals know throughout the world in that reference. So I, despite my skin tone um, in the non-tattooed areas, um, I know I don't look African American. Though there are people with my skin tone who were born in Africa and are American, I'm fairly certain. Nonetheless, um, I personally have a cousin named Jade, and her father was born and raised in Harlem, New York, and my biological father's aunt, which would be my great aunt Helen, married my cousin Jade's dad, and my great aunt Helen is Chinese. She's not first generation Chinese. She's, she was born in China and then came over to the United States of America. So my cousin Jade is half Chinese and half African American. She grew up in Harlem, New York, or New York City, and my biological father would do business in different areas, but he also had lived in Harlem as well as the other boroughs of New York City when he was a child. So him walking around the area and my biological sister being four years younger than me, she didn't really go to those areas because she was four years younger than me in comparison to me being four years older. So I'd go with my biological father to see who is my grandmama and grandpapa, but it's also, of course, Jade's grandmama and grandpapa. And so Jade's, Jade and my grandmama and grandpapa, which would be Jade's dad's mom and dad, lived in Harlem on one of, I can't remember what the cross section for the block was, but I do remember that when we would walk from where we would park uh, in reference to Harlem back in, I think it was the 1990s because in the 1980s there was construction in the area. So, I mean, there's always construction in New York City, let's be honest. But, um, <laughs> so in that time frame, if I recall correctly, there was some construction that occurred on one of the blocks where after parking, instead of turning to the right, when walking on the block, we had to go to the left because of the construction area with the scaffolding and stuff like that for one of the buildings. So in the 1990s, it was okay to turn right when walking down that particular block from that street section but I don't remember the name of the street. Um, but for those who know, who <laughs> can remember those areas much better than I, um, would know what I'm talking about, I would guess to me. Anyway, so Grandma Ma and Grandpa Pa, they had lived in one of the housing areas where, okay, so you had, for those who know this area of New York City and this borough, so, when you walk down the street, getting closer to Grandmama and Grandpapa's house, there, well, depending on which area that was parked, and uh, you know what I mean. Um, so when going from one direction, there, and, and you had the one-way streets, of course, um, but there was also three different areas, for those who know what I'm talking about, there were three different areas where there were two-way streets before getting to the one-way street areas. And so Grandmama and Grandpapa's house was in the one-way street areas, for those who know what I'm talking about. And so there was um, the, on when walking and when you would go to the right in comparison to going to the left, there was the basketball court that was on the right, 
which also had, it was so, from what I remember, granted this is before my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, and this is the year of 2022. So uh, when walking down the street, um, on one side, so on the other side of the street, you mainly had the, well this could have, it had a lot of the um, fire escapes that you could see um, from the street side for those who know what I'm talking about. And then um, you'd walk a little bit and then there was kind of this little nook area and that's where the basketball courts were and there was only one jungle gym for that specific knowledge. <laughs> it, well, I should clarify, it used to be a jungle gym. Um, but there were certain issues in the area. <laughs> I will say there were some disagreements <laughs> that had occurred. And so it was at one point in time, <clears throat> a jungle gym. Uh, I, I do remember when Jade and I were sitting out on Grandma and Grandpa Pa's steps one day, uh, this car drove by and I was like, is that one of the things from the jungle gym? Because on the rim, where the rim was supposed to be, it looked like that. <laughs> and she was like, no, you know, I wonder what happened to that. And I was like, I'm just saying, uh, that kind of looked like from the jungle gym and stuff like that. And so we, we, we were as we were. Nonetheless, <laughs> so this is, this is, you know, the Black History Month, African American History Month, and stuff like that. And then next month is March, which is Women's History Month. And so Jade being my cousin and her being a female biologically, wherever she is, hi Jade. Um, <laughs> I should just say hi five boroughs. <laughs> as well as Philadelphia and Pittsburgh and New Jersey, but also Pennsylvania and New York State. Um, <laughs> nonetheless, um, when I grew up going to Old Tenant Presbyterian Church, the first birthday that anybody ever paid attention to my birthday was in the year of 1997 if I recall correctly. And I was turning um, 14 years old. And so um, there were, or maybe it was 1996, whichever year. Nonetheless, um, people asked me in the youth group because the year before when I turned 13 was Baptist Camp Lebanon in that situation. Um, the individuals in youth group, so I was, a, I was going to be a sophomore that year, they had asked me what I wanted for my birthday for the first time ever in comparison to a lot of other stuff. And I had, I had brought up a few people that I had heard on the radio and in certain references because of Grandma Ma and Grandpa Pa, um, certain individuals, hypothetically, that, but I also went and hung out with Jade and Jade's friends and Jade's family and the cousins out in the area and those who would remember me from Asher Holmes Elementary School um, in the 1980s more specifically. Uh, that hair clip in my hair that had the um, lavender streak um, that was not something that I saw anywhere other than the five boroughs or Pittsburgh or Philadelphia, um, hanging out with who I hung out with. So, <laughs> however, Old Tenant Presbyterian Church was in, or is in, Manalapan Township. And so there's a big difference in the demographics regarding the 
overall skin tone aspects compared to. So when I was asked I was, what music I wanted, and they specifically told me that, you know, you could take the cassette tapes, because I was made fun of for only listening to the radio, because I took grandmama and grandpapa's viewpoint on that, especially with my biological mother working in Prudential and the coding aspects, where it was, well, why would I have any cassette tapes? And a bunch of the people of the youth group were like, well, how do you listen to music? The radio, duh. And so I got made fun of for that because I was, why would I bother? <laughs> why would I pay for cassette tapes when I've actually seen eight tracks? My biological father actually had some eight tracks. And it's like, you know, why, why would I do that? And at that time in the 1990s, they were starting to come out with CDs. And I was like, yeah, but I know that it's going to go in a different way. Mm -hmm, I do. I know it's going to go in a very different way. And so people in my youth group at church were like, oh, in what way do you think that is? Well, why would you want to carry around a bunch of cassette tapes? Why would you want to carry around a bunch of what essentially became CDs? Why would you want to do that if you can have something that is the size of a pager? And they were like, what's a pager? And I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I don't even, I, I just don't even want to go into this. So then I got called a snob because I didn't listen to cassette tapes, but I wasn't willing to pay for cassette tapes because of that's, this is what I've been accustomed to. And so, <laughs> so Texans in the years of 2010, more specifically, no, 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 this is just normal. Yeah. <laughs> Although much more subdued in regards of my attitude as far as words, because I was a teenager during those years in comparison and in comparison in regards of 2010 as a mom <laughs> compared to being a teenager in New Jersey. Um, <laughs> though nowadays there are some people who understand this. So anyway, except I knew the difference in regards of going into uh, Prudential and being capable to speak with the different uh, business situations at those times because of, well, <laughs> had to be capable to explain the coding factors of what I was working on in reference to the different situations regarding the software IT programming. And so when it came to certain codes at that time, it was as it was. So, um, <laughs> going back to the reference point in reference to Jade and Jade's neighborhood with Grandmama and Grandpapa and her dad and his family and my great aunt Helen and the five boroughs as well as Pittsburgh and Philadelphia because Grandmama and Grandpapa had family that was in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, which would mean that Jade's dad had family in the Pittsburgh and Philadelphia area as well as four out of the five boroughs compared to where my great aunt Helen lived which was in Manhattan. So there was the... <laughs> what is that Monopoly game from McDonald's? <laughs> if I can make a joking reference at that point. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, so I, I had paid attention to that. You could tell by my hair. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is why I didn't understand why my biological mother and my biological sister had a problem with how I physically look. Same with certain areas of Texas, except for certain areas of Texas. So in situations such as Fort Worth, anywhere, Dallas, pretty much anywhere, uh, Austin, mainly the downtown areas, except for by the capital, and Houston, 
I didn't really understand why my hair was such a big deal <laughs> in the overall, because of think about how big the state of Texas is. So it's kind of like, huh, what's the problem? <laughs> what's wrong with my hair? What's, what's wrong with it? I don't understand. It's normal to me, <laughs> and it is, you know, because there were a lot of females, as far as my cousin Jade, my grandmama, my burrows, they had shorter hair. And, you know, usually, it, well, there were some males too, but that's like a whole other ball wax because they did the wig thing in comparison to the extensions. And then there is a difference, by the way, for those who don't know, there is a difference between extensions and weave. If you don't know that there is a difference between extensions and weave, that's you not knowing that. Now you are educated, but that lets you know where I grew up hanging out. <laughs> for those who once may have known me in person, face to face in person, and now it's the year of 2022. Nonetheless, in regards to Old Tenant Presbyterian Church in the 1990s, I was told, you know, well, you could get the cassette tapes and you could put the poster on the wall. Well, what poster? Well, the insert, you could take it out and you could unfold it and you could put it on the wall. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, and that, okay, now you got my attention. Now I could see why you would want to do so. I'm like, oh, well, you know what? You know what? Coolio would be awesome. Um, and everybody in the youth group just stopped and they were like, who? And I'm like, Coolio, duh. Uh, Snoop, Ugh. some Snoop Dogg, some Snoop. Get that D O double G hi. <laughs> and they're just, Susan, who are you? Who are you? Who did you think I am? And they're like, how could you be into, it's not Snoop D-O-double-G. No, it is. It's, it, it is Snoop Dogg, but it's Snoop D-O-double-G. Like, it's not Snoop D-O-double-G. It's Snoop, you have to know. And so, <laughs> church youth group individuals at Old Tenet Presbyterian Church, they're like, you, 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 you can't, you can't. We know Mike, we know Anna, we know Patricia, which biological mother, Anna, biological father, Mike, and biological sister, Patricia. It's like, yeah, that's them. Mike is probably the closest you got <laughs> to ask, and all of you are afraid of Mike. <laughs> You're all frightened of him. Don't worry, it's okay, I understand. Um, <laughs> I know better, <laughs> um, but I also know better. So yeah, and so they were like, no, we don't believe that. Uh, do you know what, okay, what about the woo-woos? And they're like, who's the woo-woos? The woo-woos, how do you not know who the woo-woos are? And they're like, who are the woo-woos? Do you listen to you? Are, you know what? You're not cool. <laughs> you're not cool. <laughs> you guys think you're cooler than me. You're not cool. No, no, you're not. And so they got upset because they were like, well, what what makes you think that the Wu and who are the Wu Wu's? Wu Tang. Have you ever heard of them? Wu, 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 Wu. And they were like, what? The who are you? And I'm like, I'm still me. <laughs> I'm Susan. I haven't changed. You just haven't seen me hanging out with my cousin and family and grandmama and grandpapa and friends. And you have no idea when it comes to music. And so, you know, if, if you want to get me music, I'm telling you what I prefer. And they're like, okay, well, you know, why don't you think of another name of someone other than those? And I was like, what do you mean someone other than those? And they were like, it's almost like you just, I'm just, I just want to know what you mean by someone other than those, right? Like, ah, <laughs> uh -uh, no, 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 no. And they're like, Susan, your skin tone almost changed. Excuse you? Well, I guess now I can make that joke. <laughs> I guess I can at this point. <laughs> In 2022, 
compared to 1997. So it's a bit of a difference in time, <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> they also didn't see my uh, school picture from Asher Holmes Elementary School, but if they had actually remembered my biological mother and my biological father when it came to church after the school pictures, anybody who's met Anna knows how this was. So Anna shows up to church and you know, it's, it's a Sunday, it's not Sunday school, it's, a, it's sanctuary choir for those of you who know what I'm talking about. So picture this, it's Thursday evening. <laughs> We're in the 1986 Dodge Grand Caravan, okay? Patricia's in whatever, whatever. I'm in third grade, I think. And so we pull in to the property line of Old Tenet Presbyterian Church, drive through the entrance from which you would go towards Freehold, and then go past the garage, go past into the, the uh, entrance to the church, see Old Tenet Presbyterian Church on the hill, and General George Washington's office to turn into the parking lot in front of Neff Chapel. Okay. Anna is quiet the whole time. <laughs> For those of you who know, you know what that is. You know. So there's just silence the whole car ride from church. <laughs> the whole car ride. Patricia is the only one making any noise, which... And so I'm just sitting in the back and I'm all excited because I'm all like, yes, I did. Grandma Ma and Grandpa Pa gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> They're gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> and then there's all of the different neighborhoods and it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
got the forest wine on one side, got Old Tenet Presbyterian Church at the location, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Compared to which area of the five boroughs, whatever. <laughs> whatever. At minimum, there are trees and life and stuff like that, whatever. I'm just going to go for my walk. I'll take myself on a walk, which I could make that joke because I was born in the year of the dog. And so I just go walking on <laughs> Nonetheless, um, so <laughs> my grandmama and my grandpapa and their friends were all, oh, oh, this is just such a <laughs> Love Jesus! <laughs> That's grandmama. Love Jesus! Yes, grandmama. Love Jesus! I swear this is so. Love of Jesus. Yes, Grandma. <laughs> Praise the love. Yes, Grandma. And so, you know, she was all excited because of my hair. She could not wait to show her friends. Because. <laughs> and for those who understand, but even you, I've had to explain in reference to the difference between extensions and weave. Because there it is. Anyway, <clears throat> I was allowed to do grandma's hair. Yeah. <laughs> I was allowed to, and for those who understand, yes, when I say I was allowed to do grandma's hair, I was allowed because she had to go to church one day. Those who understand this, so she had her, she had her, she had her, her she, she had the part right here. And um, for those who know how certain types of hair grow, she had the little crinkly stuff, I can't remember what it's called, um, but before it got all smooth and stuff, <laughs> and she had charge the next day. And her normal didn't have time for an appointment. She was gonna be in the front row of the choir. <sighs> For those who know, Grandma and you know, everybody had their robes that they were gonna wear. They were a very dark royal purple with the gold thingamabob. I can't remember which, and um, she was gonna be in the front row and they weren't allowed to wear their hats. So, um, <laughs> when I say I was allowed to do Grandma Ma's hair, those who know, I was allowed to. It also was a last minute situation, but I was still allowed to because there were some people on the street that she could have asked that she knew from the neighborhood, but I was allowed to. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Why, why was I nervous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and because it was in the kitchen, those who know Grandma and Grandpapa's house, what was hanging up on the walls? A whole bunch of pots and pans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why was I nervous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There's also the fly swatters, because you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, those who know. Swatters with the S at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it was that like three inch nail. Those who know, I know you know what I mean. And so, <laughs> and the different types. Because she had, she had the ones where it was the one shape one and then the other shape one, because for those who know. So why was I nervous enough to just be allowed to do grandmama's hair and then, you know, facing the fly swatters with the, with the pots and pans. Uh-huh, yeah, I don't know. Why did I make sure to do it perfect? Forget being scared of Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no offense on that one. Mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. No, no, there are those who know what I mean. No, uh-uh, and this was the early 1990s, late 1980s? Uh-uh, uh no, mm, -mm. No, and she was gonna be in the front row. Mm hmm Yeah. She's <laughs> saying 
It was, it was just a little bit nerve-wracking, just a smidgen <laughs> amount of pressure. Just a little bit for those who understand that. So going back to <laughs> regarding Old Tenet Presbyterian Church, and I'm like, yeah, or some, you know, NWA or iced tea or, ooh, ooh, I like some iced tea or some ice cube. You could do some biggie, a little bit of big, big, big. <laughs> and they were just like, who are you? <laughs> You're hurting our brains. And I'm just like, huh. Okay, so what did I get for my birthday? Did I get any of that? No. No, I didn't. And then, <laughs> just remember, <laughs> I could only tell the truth. <laughs> so, <laughs> my facial expressions. <clears throat> I had up to that point was one in kindergarten. And then, you know, I dealt with fifth grade. And then the year before, when I was turning 13, was that. So, you know, whatever, as far as my birthday is concerned, by that time. And so they're all excited. And I'm just, what? And they're like, aren't you excited? It's your birthday. And it's like, literally a year ago, I was at Baptist Camp Lebanon. Um, yeah, no, I dealt with some stuff there. And they're like, oh, you're so depressing. And it's like, yeah, 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 for you, uh, yeah. And, and then the irony is at the church, they were like, you should really feel bad for us because we, you know, have to listen to how depressing you are. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you didn't deal with what I dealt with, but you want me to feel sympathy for you because you didn't deal with what I dealt with, but you're depressed because you know what I dealt with. And then the response was, yes. Now you see why you have to have sympathy for us. Or, <laughs> call me kooky as far as common sense being a superpower. Um, <clears throat> no, um, that's not how that goes. No, no, no. I will do what I can to be in a good mood because apparently whatever. And so they're like, well, we got you, you know, and they're all like cheerleader -y. Don't let this fool you. <laughs> as far as my affect. Um, so, you know, I've just gone ahead, fine. And so they, you know, give over these little packages. And I'm like, oh, what is it? Because by that point in time, I had a, I, I mean, I had gotten Christmas presents but I hadn't ever had a present that, like, I, I hadn't ever had that before. So I had no idea what a present that wasn't a Christmas present wrapped up looked as. I had no, no, <laughs> no idea. And so, you know, I look at it and, and I got made fun of because I was like, well, what do I do with it? And they were like, you open it. And I was like, well, how do you open it? And they were like, are you kidding? And I'm like, no, what, why, why would, what, what do I do with it? And they're like, you're supposed to open it. Oh, okay. So I start opening it, the blondes are making their whatever comments and I'm just like, yeah, okay, whatever. 
And so, the, so remember, music choices. <laughs> music choices. <laughs> Manalapan Township <laughs> compared to the five boroughs, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, where I listen to the radio the most. Okay, so I figure out how to open, <laughs> the, which I can make a joke in reference to my Medal of Honor art project. It's a different version. You're not supposed to open that. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I open the, and I take the wrapping paper off and I look at it and I'm just like, what is this? So they're like, it's a, it's a cassette tape. And I look at it and I'm like, who is Ace of Base? Or what is Ace of Base? And they're like, how do you not know who Ace of Base is? Seriously. And I'm, that's, that's not Snoop Dogg. <laughs> It's not Snoop Dogg. No, that is not Snoop Dogg. And they were like, how do you know? Because I've seen posters of Snoop Dogg. That's not Snoop Dogg. Yeah, that's not the Snoop D or Double G. That is Ace of Base. That's not Snoop Dogg. Different. And <laughs> they asked me again how I would know if I had only listened to Snoop Dogg on the radio. And I was like, okay, because they had, they had posters. Do you know that you can get posters where you don't have to buy the cassette tape? They're, they're probably bigger than in here. And <laughs> it was as it was. <clears throat> so then, you know, there was the other one. And I look at it and I'm like, ugh, what is this? <laughs> first one and there's Ace of Base. <laughs> I don't even know who they are. And so they're all, it, don't you know, I saw the sign. And I was like, uh. So we were in the, the van on a youth group trip when I get into this. And I'm like, okay, well, since there's a cassette player, could you, and I'm nervous. I'm sitting in the car or the van and I'm in, the, and I'm in one of the captain's chairs. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to listen to this, but everybody else is like, yes, it's great, it's awesome, it's great, yes, and you'll love it, you'll love it. If you like Snoop Dogg, you're gonna love Ace of Ace. I don't know about that. <laughs> songs to a degree um, but yeah um, <laughs> needless to say so um, it was a really good thing that I was in the captain's chair and everybody else was in seats behind me <laughs> <clears throat> because I'm gonna guesstimate my face <laughs> Told so much truth. <laughs> Ridiculous amounts of truth. Um, and so then, you know, I turned around, <laughs> irony, and <laughs> the irony, I turned around, I shouldn't have, ha, huh, ha. Huh. And so I look at everybody in the back of the van, they're all, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just, Well, funny enough, <laughs> as I'm thinking, this is a crappy birthday. <laughs> I open up the second one. <laughs> and what do I see? The word 
dookie, and I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I saw a sign too. And <laughs> Cartoons, that's cool. Um, and so one of the older kids in the youth group were like, we can't listen to that one. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, now you have my attention. You've got this where you're doing this in, in the car. And I'm just not, and I'm, I am so confused as far as this. And so why why can't why can't we listen to this one? And they were like, because Green Day had some some words. Huh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe they'll be good. <laughs> Maybe I'll actually like that, which I did. I did. I really did. I really truthfully did. I really did. <laughs> See, don't let the name fool you. See, that's a, mm-hmm, because don't, don't misinterpret those signs. And so, <laughs> I, you know, I opened up the, the, the actual, because I didn't know how to open up the cassette tape. Because it's like, what is this? So let me understand that. And, and I got upset with this because I had just handed the, the, the Ace of Base one, you know, kept in, in its covering of whatever after taking off the wrapping paper. It's like, yeah, oh, you'll give it back to me? Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> this music, like, you know, if there was a little bit of like, and so then because I'll get to that. So anyway, so I, how do I open this thing? Like, and, and I get made fun of because after getting the wrapping paper off, I'm like, what is this? How do I, why won't it open? Oh, you're so lovely. Do you have a knife? I know how to open it with a knife. And they're like, no. And it's like, okay, well now in 2022, I bet that makes a lot more sense as to why. <laughs> I'll ever give you that. So, you know, they, they somehow get the plastic wrap off of it. And I take out the insert and I'm like, do you consider this a poster? <laughs> how is this a poster to you? What are you, you're one of those people who do the, the gum wrapper things, aren't you? You're one of those. And they were like, what do you mean? You're one of those people who do the gum wrappers, where you like do the whole ceiling in comparison because this is not a poster. No, this is not a poster. <laughs> yeah, no, a poster is like this by this. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is the name of the album for your consideration. <laughs> hearing, you know, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I'm hearing, you know, Wu-Tang Clan. I'm hearing NWA. I mean, and I'm like, you know, this wouldn't be bad with some beats. All right. No, that's cool. Well, fast forward to 2000 and there's Eminem. <laughs>
it was Mr. I think it was Mr. Nelson. I think it was Mr. Nelson who was behaving, and he's just like, "Ooh, you can only tell the truth." Yes, yes, I can. <laughs> he's just, "Ooh." So you don't think that 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 on um, that song was rap? No, 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 no. No, no, that was not rap. No, that is a rap as far as that being concerned. Yeah, that is a rap because uh uh. <laughs> they were just the the youth group. They were just you have no sense of style, and it's like yeah, you think that's rap. <laughs> You have no idea where I chill at, so, yeah, no. Well, so they go and ask my biological little sister about <clears throat> how I would know any of the, it, <laughs> sort of thing, and it's like, I was told about it, and I'm like, well, what about her cousin Jade? And she's like, well, what does she look like? So, well, what, when was the last time you remember seeing Jade? And my biological sister goes, well, whenever. And so, mind you, at this point in time, it is 1997, okay? We saw Jade the last time, if I can remember the year correctly, um, I think it was 1994, 1995, possibly 1996, in the irony of about February time frame. And so it was one of those, it's only 1997. I don't know, like, not to, like, no offense to Jade, her dad, grandmama, grandpapa, her brothers and sisters and cousins. Um, like, how blind are you? And she was like, well, what does she look like? Okay, um, can you tell the, okay, how about, let me, let me start with something simple, okay? Let me start with something simple for you, okay? And she's all, don't talk stupid to me! Do you think Jade looks the way we do? And she was, eh. <laughs> okay, um, okay, um, okay, how do I, how do I? <laughs> okay, what type of hair does Jane have? And she was like, oh, it's brown hair. Yes, yes, that's true. Um, what is the texture of Jane's hair? And she was like, eh. It's like, you know, it's hair. Uh-uh, 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 no, 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 And she was like, well, you're allowed to touch her hair. I'm not. And she threw her little temper tantrum over that. And it's like, yeah, well, there's reasons for that. Um, uh, quite a few reasons. And she was like, well, what were the reasons? And I was like, well, you decided to hit one of her um, roles and then I had to inform and edumacate you not to do that. And so you were edumacated as to why you don't do that because she thought it was like, you know, how cats are with a toy. Um, and so Jade had the, um, I don't know what it's called, but the different squares as far as the hairstyle and then the rolls when it came to the, those big 1980s, 1990s, um, uh, they kind of look like the figure eight with the little metal thing on the bottom and the two plastic balls on each end. And so she, with Jade's hair, uh, sometimes, not always, there was the, the square cut as far as the hairstyle and then pulling in the, because I got to do this. So, you know, you pull the hair in after you make the, you, you take the fine comb, the, the pick end, and you get that square, just you better get that square correct. And um, you pull that, you get the get the lotiony stuff to keep it because I, this is I, those who know how to do 
the hair, you know what, and so you get the lotiony stuff to get that after you get the, the square going with the little pick end thing. So I was so envious because all of the other females who were doing this stuff, they could just put the, the pick in their hair and I'm like, oh, this is slippery. <laughs> Hold, can you hold the comb thing in my bob? And like, then you know, and, and that just it, it, those who know. So, um, <laughs> so what wound up happening? I can again make the joke. I was born in the year of the dog. I just got to the point where I put it in between my teeth, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, I and then you know, do the little <laughs> cuts. <laughs> and then I thought about how I had a ponytail in the back of my hair, and it was just well. Put it right there, I can do that, and now I'm gonna do that and get that line just the right way, put that back in, all right, do, 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 do. so you know, I am how I am. And so, but had the little little elastic thing of a boss, get the ball, and then you know, get the, the, the those who know how to do with the hair, that's why you know what I'm talking about. And you know, so Jade's sitting on whatever step, and I'm on the back step in the in the neighborhood and stuff like that. And I do the split as far as for the rolls and get the lotion and stuff like that, or whatever it's called. And then get the get the, get it where it's like whatever. It twi do the twists in the two different directions because that's how you get that looking right. Because mm -hmm. that that's the way it's done correctly. And you do the twists and stuff, and then you do the twist, 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 twist. But you got to do it a certain way while you're doing the twist because it is not <laughs> just as simple as that. And so then you know you get the the matching color, or whatever. And you put the but you have to have the rubber bands too because it's not just because you don't want the kink from that little metal piece. You know, if you do it right, okay. If you do it, if you if you do it right, you do it with the rubber bands, not the ones with the metal piece. No, 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 no. Because you gotta get you you either do the the plastic rubber bands or you get the actual rubber bands, or you cannot use a scrunchie. That's just how that is. And then you can do the decorative piece. This is this is this. Yeah, hello. And so. <laughs> with the, and you do the rubber band at the end, but it's a different size rubber band. And if you're gonna be creative, you do a different color. Because it's okay to have, you gotta have the black in the, in the as far as at the top of the hat, but you at the end, no, 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 that's where the color goes. Uh-huh, <laughs> that's where that goes. So, you know, I can make the jokes now. And so, <laughs> to do the little twisty thing of uh, twist it all up and then get the, color rubber bands and then do the little twisty mabob with the little figure eight thing of a bob of whatever that hair thing is from the 1980s and 1990s and stuff. And so then Patricia, my biological sister, um, one of the last times we saw our cousin Jimmy together, she runs up to Jade and she goes with one of the uh, hair things and it popped Jade and just <laughs> <coughs> I will just say that my biological sister was educated to not do that. Um, <laughs> I will also say I learned not to rip my biological sister's clothing. Because when I grabbed her and then went, went to educate her, <laughs> It was as it was. I dealt with it. And so it was one of those, so, in that reference when it comes to comparatively to Ace of Base, <laughs> I really truthfully didn't understand <laughs> at all what the confusion was, at all as to why I was confused as to Ace of Base. So because because we had to listen to the whole cassette for the car ride. <laughs> the whole cassette. Both sides. Both sides. Yes. Yes. For those who know how cassettes are from that point. Yes. And so because they liked it. I can make a joke in reference to Marksbury and Medical Hold Unit. <laughs> I listen to my music, I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> I 
although later I did get to the Green Day thing and it took a while because um, <laughs> I was quite nervous at that point. Yeah, so it took until moving to Illinois before I ever played Green Day, I think. No, 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 it was like a month before moving to Illinois before I actually, because I was, I, I was so traumatized. <laughs> because I was thinking, you know, it's gonna be, you know, and then it was as it was. And so I was, I was, so, I was, I was traumatized by that. <laughs> Because in my defense, I was expecting to hear good music. <laughs> and for anybody who knows, especially in the 1980s, 1990s, Biggie Smalls, you know, NWA, Coolio, Snoop Dogg, you know, like, like Ice Cube, Ice T, Wu Tang. This is what I'm expecting to hear. And then Ace of Base. <laughs> and then they said there was rap on that and again that's that was actually why they got that that cassette by the way they said those people that i was in youth group with they were like well since you like rap there's a guy who raps on there I am still quite proud of myself to this day <laughs> because I remained calm. Now, I can say that when we arrived at the youth group campsite, uh, there was a lightning storm. <laughs> and it just happened to be a coinky day that there was this huge rainstorm that occurred and the there was a tree that was knocked over. Um, it's it's just a coinky dink. That's all that I just happened to have to had to keep myself calm because you know, like <laughs> how was that rap? Um, I just I'm just throwing this out there. There are people. Like anybody who listens to music, go Google <laughs> Ace of Base rap and then go Google Wu Tang, you know, and then, you know, because of going to Harlem and the Bronx and Brooklyn and Queens, you know, back in the 1980s, 1990s, you had people that would just bring out the boom box and then have a beat going or somebody who would bring out the record player and just do some scratching and people would have a spitting battle. So, you know, to the ace of base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. They called that rap. That's what they called it. I still disagree. <laughs> It wasn't even spoken word, in my opinion, but that is what it is. That's my opinion. <laughs> I also have <clears throat> a background, so. <laughs> Huge difference. So really quickly before I go back to that. So fast forward to the year of 2009. So I am, um, I'm, I'm with the guy who I was engaged to, okay? And he's half Japanese and half Irish. And I'm half Chinese and half, you know, the rest of the mixed or whatever. And I'm like, I had wanted to go to the Margarita Ball. And he was like, what is the Margarita Ball? I'm like, oh, you know, they, they it's a fundraiser thing, but it's, also a, a Toys for Tots sort of situation. And then there's supposed to be music and dancing. And you get to be all dressed up, you know, in like, you know, dressed up stuff. And he was like, oh, so it's called dressed up stuff. Yeah, it's dressed up stuff. And he was like, okay, where'd you get one? I heard it on the radio. 
And so, you know, dressed up stuff. You know, like a ball gown, is essentially for those who know. And so, um, we get there. And I didn't care about the fact that they actually had margaritas. I didn't know that that's what it was in reference to as far as the alcohol was concerned. <laughs> Anyway, so, you know, they have the margarita machines and stuff like that, and I have my ball gown on and everything, and then this guy, I don't know who he was, I don't know, I know that there was a stage, it didn't matter, this guy, he starts spitting ludicrous, and I'm like, yes, that's fine. And so I'm looking around, <laughs> and for those who know, so you got, you know, a bunch of grandmas and grandpas that are getting low, and it's like, oh, hey, yeah, you know what, you're from where I'm just, I don't recognize that. <laughs> and my, my then fiance, he's all like, what are you, you, you sure are happy. I'm like, you don't understand, this is, this is awesome. You don't, you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> and he's like, what, what is, your face is just elated. I've got to know what you're thinking. And I'm like, don't pop a hip, grandma. It's all right. I hear. And he was like, what did you just say? You just asked what I was thinking. That's what I just said. <laughs> well, what's funny is who grandma was dancing with. He goes and looks at me and he goes, no, it's okay, I've taken care of that before. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> and my fiance is just like, this is the weirdest night ever. And I'm like, oh, honey, no. <laughs> With me, there's never a dull moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's not one second but it's that well, it could be. I guess, I guess it depends. You know, but it's not really by technicalities. And he was just, you know what? I don't know why I have to believe that, but I, I, I have a feeling that I have to believe that. Well, you know, truth is what truth is. And so, <laughs> nonetheless, going back to literally going way back in time compared to 2009, to <laughs> which yes, doing some booty shaking and some you know some gowns like actual gowns. It was awesome. Screw this. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> get to um, <laughs> the the youth group thing and the youth group people. We all get out of the van. And, you know, everybody's all solemn because, you know, they, they see the, <laughs> the stuff. And I'm just like, hmm. I get out of the van. I, I, I stayed in the captain's chair the whole time letting everybody else get out first because they went out because of the way the doors were. So I just waited. And so when everybody else was out, I step out. And I'm just like, okay. And everyone's just like, oh. <laughs> Multicolored aspects of, and so. 
so for those who um, are into art or artwork, painting to be more specific, color mixtures, um, the reality of the color. So white is the absence of color. Now it's it's that's the reality. You can't have the color white without any color in it. You can add white to other colors to lighten it up, but you white is defined in art as the absence of color. Now, black is defined as all colors combined. Not just the shade color. <laughs> And so, <laughs> got some trim work, what can I say? You know, it's <laughs> you know, since I'm into cars, and so, you know, it's got the... <clears throat> anyway, so, today being the 1st of February, 2022, <laughs> in reference to, yeah, I've, I've got a background despite my skin tone. So in regard to the 2008 election, when I was asked, how could I have my hair, which is an irony regarding my biological sister being the one who asked me about that. How could I have my hair the way my hair is? And not vote for 44, or well, who became 44. And I was like, very, very simply, when I go to the voting booth, I will <laughs> push a different button. <laughs> That's how that got. Yeah, yeah. Well, how can you have your skin looking as you do? That's literally what I was asked. Um, so I have my skin looking as I do because I went to a tattoo shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I made an appointment with a tattoo artist. Okay. And so <laughs> my son and my daughter, they're all... <laughs> They have their heads down and they're just eating their food and they're like, mom is smarter than you, Aunt Patty, by so much. <laughs> Both my son and my daughter are like, yeah, that's your, your mom. <laughs> Who she married to in regards to her husband as far as that's concerned. He's doing the exact same thing my son and my daughter are doing. He's just got his head down and he's got his face and his plate and he's like, I'm not saying anything. Happy life, happy life. <laughs> and so, you know, my, or our biological mother, she's like, oh, Susan, you know, seriously, how is your hair looking in there with you? How can you not vote for Barack Obama? Because I can go to the voting booth and to pick who I'm going to choose. Yeah, that's how that goes. He's gonna become president, I know this. And, you know, Zach is a big, he sat up and he's like, what did you say? I said, oh, he's gonna become president. Yeah, Barack Obama will be elected. I don't agree with it though. See, I think that it would be better if he had a different running partner, meaning, you know, and I had told him, I said, if the Democratic Party had wanted to actually unite themselves, they would have had um, Barack Obama with Hillary <laughs> Clinton. You know, they would have actually had that as a ticket, but instead, the Republicans have, at that time in 2008, um, uh, we had an early Thanksgiving dinner compared to the actual, just for clarification, time frame. And so, you know, as far as um, Senator McCain and Governor Palin, you know, it should have been the other way around because of the way the actualities are in reference to the president and vice president of the United States of America. But I do believe that if you're going to have a certain role because you are the commander in chief of the armed forces of the United States of America, you should have a military background. And <laughs> <clears throat> my biological sister was all, you know what you're talking about? How dare you look at your skin? You're supposed to vote for this guy. And I'm like, or I have the right to choose who I'm going to vote for. And I'm going to do it as what I see is for the best in an overall sort of way. I know he's going to become 
the President of the United States of America. I know this. And because of my military aspect, I will still respect the fact that he voted and or he had been voted into office. I, I, I will, like that's part of that aspect. I can still talk and make jokes and certain references. However, I will still always respect the fact that he had been voted into office. That's that's part of it. My biological sister's all Rawr! and it's like that's nice. <laughs> That's nice. And so I actually called my biological sister a racist. I said, Patricia, you're a racist for, for voting for who will become 44 only because of his skin tone. I'm going to tell you that right now. You won't be able to undo it. And in my opinion, I don't know how you can vote for him only based on his skin tone. It's my opinion. And if he, you know, in my opinion, go over a few things, well, Mike, our biological father, he's like, that's enough. <laughs> Gonna referee this now. <laughs> Not that. All right, whatever. I'm just letting you know how it's gonna go. He's gonna become president of the United States of America. Um, then he's gonna be reelected again and I'm gonna vote in a different way yet again, and quite frankly, it doesn't matter what anybody's opinion is. You're not going to bully me into a different way because I'm going to vote how I'm gonna vote. And so fast forward to 2012 and having a bunch of, you're so that no, you're racist for telling me to vote for him only because of his skin tone. You're racist for telling me to vote for him only because he's African American, I don't care. I'm looking at these different policies that I'm paying attention to. That's it. I don't, I, I don't, and at that point in time, to be honest, I hadn't even seen a picture of him by that point. I hadn't seen a picture, a video, or anything of Barack Obama until around, I think it was 2010. That was the first time, and I didn't even know it was him. So, <laughs> Meaning, I had met people with the name Barack before, or some version of. I had met people with names that sounded similar to Obama. So, depending on which neighborhood I was in. Because, <laughs> you know, your mama. And it is what it is. And so, it is. So the, the reference point in regards of, you know, is if you take into this consideration my scuba diving, well, I dealt with people in 2009 who were like, oh, how dare, and this is the irony of irony. So for people who know the demographics of scuba diving in the year of 2009 in the state of Texas, or anywhere possibly, so I'm earning my 26 scuba diving certifications and these people, who have skin tones lighter than my biological father, biological sister, and biological mother are telling me these people, not all of them, but like uh, quite a few of them, being like, we think you're racist because you, I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so I'll, I, you know, take this in consideration. So out at whichever lake, quarry, hot spring, with my scuba dive gear to go in the water, you know, <laughs> as far as that's concerned. Yeah, I'm all like, yeah, no, I, I didn't vote for 44. I'm not going to vote for him during the re-election. And again, I can respect the fact that so he got the presidency. I just don't agree with it. You have to learn how to accept the fact that I have the legal right to vote for who I choose to vote for. Because if you're going to throw temper tantrums in reference to how I choose to vote, there will be a day where it comes back around. And you are going to have to face the facts as far as whatever you do and or have done and or would do in regards to having a difference in opinion as far as elected officials are concerned, you are going to have to deal with that fact if it ever becomes a different majority view. 
because unlike you, I'm not afraid of acknowledging who I'm going to vote for. I don't have to hide behind a curtain. I don't. I'll tell you exactly who I'm going to vote for. I'll tell you what my views are. Yes, I don't care if you don't like the fact that I physically look as I do. And yes, I consider myself a Republican or a conservative. However, I have an independent thought, and I believe in the democratic process. So if your opinion is that in your thoughts that I should look a certain way as to being in the Republican category, how sexist, feminazi, racist are you, and colorist, by the way, then if you think that I should look a certain, or because I look as I do, that I should be considered a Democrat, well, why would you think that? Unless you're in the historical portion and reference to what the original aspects of the foundations as to the Democratic Party are, which isn't it funny, though it's not funny at all, when scuba diving started in certain references, you either were the J-valve or the K-valve. Which one were you? Since there's three of you right there, did you start with which letter when it came to scuba diving as far as which valve? And no joke, but it is. Each one said the letter K in regards to the valve that they began scuba diving with. And I looked at them and I'm like, hmm, no wonder you vote in the democratic way. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense to me, especially with the fact that I, me, because of my tattoos, I have a darker skin tone than all of you combined. Because that's the reality, even though that guy over there has a tan and that guy over there has a tan and that female biologically over there has a tan, when it comes to skin tone, I'm the darkest one here. And that's the truth. It may only be in certain sections. <laughs> However, it's still the truth. So, and hmm, that's how the color, thank you, so, hmm. And they didn't like my joke, but I also wasn't really joking at the exact same time. I was, I was doing what I could to lighten the mood a little bit, pun intended, as far as their skin tones, I was there. And so, yeah, well, it, you know, it, it's February 1st, 2022, I'll just go there as I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a little rude right now, I'm just be like, yeah. <laughs> Except I was born as a biological female. Don't let my hairstyle fool you. <laughs> and my voice and other stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm a, I, I can make this joke before I close out this particular official YouTube channel video. Thank you for tuning in, by the way. And make sure to go to my website, www.susanneeling.com. Today, the 1st of February, 2022, as far as the recording of the video, however, of course, it does depend on when you actually watch and listen. And so, <laughs> I realized because there are the aspects of, um, I know that there's the Gay Pride Month or the LBGTQP Month, so I'm a little ahead of myself, but I have to because I brought up real. I have to. I have to because, you know, next month in March is... Women's History Month, and, and then I don't know what month it is, but there is a month in that reference. So, I'm a biological female. I figured this out more recently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It only took me till the year of 2022 to figure this out, so. Okay, born and raised in New Jersey. Everybody knows the democratic aspects as far as having to have the different labels and sorts of stuff. So, I am a biological female. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, inside, I am a gay bear, because, you know, I'm a pansexual, so I am a gay bear. Um, sometimes drag queen, because, you know, I'm a female biologically, but, you know, I, I'm more comfortable in jeans and a t-shirt, but if I decide to dress up, <laughs> I can go in any style, thank you very much. <laughs> And with the reference as far as what I said regarding basic training, um, you know, I can strap what I need to as far as, you know, being that internal gay bear, as far as in an external way. Um, <laughs> only in the United States of America. And so, because that's how, because that's where I am. And, you know, constitutional rights. 
And so, <laughs> so I, as a pansexual, biological female, I am a internally, who inside, in my thoughts especially, I am a gay bear because, you know, um, I, do, I do have a tendency when you take a look at certain personality traits as far as how certain personality traits of males that I have been involved with, they kind of are a little Twinkie-ish. Some of them are, those who understand, um, they kind of, certain, certain, certain males that I have dated, um, they kind of, one, we already kind of does, he would physically look as a twink. Um, <laughs> couple of them in certain references depending on what they wear, but the personality traits, they would be more twinkyish or boyish, but kind of more a twinkie boy, they would, <laughs> thinking about this. Nonetheless, so internally, yes, I am a, so externally I am a biological female, internally I am a gay, bear, pansexual. Um, I'm polyamorous in this gay bear sort of way because I don't discriminate against twinks. I can I can be with some boys as far as the B O I S for that LGBTQ reference because you know the difference as well as the leather portion at the central part of who I am. <laughs> labeling of the alphabet soup sort of thing going on. Um, well, I definitely have the rainbow situation. Mm -hmm. And, 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 on the right side, I got the rainbow. Oh, oh. <laughs> And so anyway, <laughs> technically the left side too, it's just more spread out in comparison as far as my tattoo ink. Because <laughs> by technicalities, you know, by technicalities, you know, in the right side it's more condensed, which I can make that joke in reference to <laughs> political references is to an irony. So in the right side it's more condensed as far as the rainbow reference. <laughs> and the left side, I still got the rainbow. It's just more, you know, <laughs> all, you know, to the sort of ways in that reference. And in the central aspect, got that leather core. Um, <laughs> and since I was talking about when I was growing up from a child, I'm older. And so, you know, that's, of course, it's kind of guard. Oh, I am such a dork. <laughs> Can you tell I took Latin as a child, teenager, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> you guys, have a good day. <laughs> hey, look, boom, and string theory, all in one. <laughs>